What's up? This is your girl on the Apple Kazaya. Welcome to the show. So I want to give my quick two cent on Kyrie Iring and Bishop Nathaniel from IUIC. He's a leader of IUIC. IUIC is a Hebrew Israelite camp, okay? And they go around preaching the word of the Most High. They preach about the 12 tribes. They preach about commandments and repentance and salvation, okay? So Kyrie Iring came into knowledge of truth, okay? He came into self-identity and he shared it on his platform, okay? And it was a book by Mr. Dalton called Hebrews to Negro and they chewed him up the media chewed him up okay and the people that's claimed to be Shemitic they also chewed him up okay and Bishop Nathaniel felt it was very proper and necessary to go out and protest at the Barclays Center around the Barclays Center in BK Brooklyn where I grew up where I am from okay and he decided to protest on the behalf of Kyrie Irving even though Kyrie Irving has not spoken to Bishop Nathaniel he hasn't acknowledged he hasn't really had much to say about the Hebrew Israelite camp and they're protesting on his behalf but you know Bishop Nathaniel stands strong and firm on his stance on where he is in this truth and why he feels it's very necessary for his camp to be out there preaching the word of the most high, okay? Preaching the scriptures, preaching the Bible. So Bishop Nathaniel was on comedy hype, okay? And they were asking him a ton of questions. Of course, he used the scriptures to back up his claims. And you know, he's very articulate. Bishop Nathaniel is very articulate. He is, again, the leader of IUIC. I believe he is the biggest camp leader or i believe that iuic is the biggest hebrew is like camp on the planet earth all right then i think it's iuspk behind him or they might be neck and neck because general yohana iuspk is pretty huge too as well but anyway i want to say this they have the right to protest. They have the right to speak their mind. Everyone else speaks their mind. People protest all the time. People protest all the time and no one says anything about them and their protests, depending on what it is. But people protest all the time. It's something called freedom of speech. And we have the right to speak our mind and we have the right to speak our truth. Speak the truth, okay? We've been lying for so long and living this lie of being Jews. They talking about, hey, Kyrie, you got to come and speak to the Jewish Brooklyn leaders. Where are they? Come speak to us. The truth of this Bible was given unto you, Israelites. You got a problem with us being Israelites? Come talk to us. We're going to bring you this Bible, thus saith the Lord. This Bible is spreading. You cannot contain the truth of the Bible. There's many things that's evil going on in the land of Israel, but there's no media coverage for that. But when black people do crime in the hood, it's all on the news. It's all on the news. Who control the news? The Jewish media, like Kanye West said. Now let's see what color they are. They are black. What color are the Jews? They are black. If you're black, you are Semitic. So Kyrie Irving was correct. Of six things. Hey, guess what, Kyrie? You got to come over here and make my little kid lunch. Hey. Kyrie, guess what? Can we ride you like a horse? Then you can get your job back. No, we're not doing that. Y'all gonna understand. Y'all gonna learn that we the Israelites. We're not bending or breaking for nobody. But you see, the word truth, people are afraid of that. Because when you have something to hide, you don't want the truth to come out. When you have something to hide, when you are a deceiver and you are a liar... And you are a manipulator, you are scared of the word truth because that's going to expose you. And that's what these people don't want. They don't want to be exposed. They want to keep people in total oblivion and they want to keep people stupid and foolish and dumbed down because they don't want people to know the truth because truth holds a lot of power. And the truth shall make you free. That's the word. The truth shall make you free, okay? So I do not oppose 
Bishop Nathaniel and his men going out there processing on behalf of Kyrie Irene. But what I will say this, I don't think that we should assume because a celebrity or anybody, celebrity or not, come into the knowledge of the Bible and assume that they are a prophet. Assume that they are prophetic. Assume that they were sent from the Most High. Assume that they're righteous. Assume that they are a follower or a servant of the Most High. Yeah. It does not mean that. Just because someone comes into the knowledge of the Bible does not mean that they have evoked change. When you come into the knowledge of the truth of who you are, who your people are, and your true history, your heritage, that should make you change, okay? And not just put on fringes on your clothes, not just keep the Shabbat and keep the feast days, not just, oh, stop eating pork. It's about changing from within. This is a spiritual change. This is spiritual work, okay? Because the Most High, he's a he's spirit, okay? So we have to make sure that we are changing from within, okay? I also want to mention Taraziak. He's also a believing Hebrew Israelite. He's from IUSBK, too, as well. He's a captain. He also sat down with Jesse Lee Peterson. <laughs> Mr. Peterson is a freaking character. I sat down and I watched that interview he had with Jesse and I cracked the heck up. Jesse talking about how he's dumb, he black, and he's slow. I fell the hell out because I couldn't even believe he even said something <laughs> like that. He said he black and dumb. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm telling you, so one of my subscribers sent me the video. Shout out to you. You know who you are, okay? And I watched it. I'm just like, this guy is crazy as heck, you know? But, you know, so Terazak was also breaking down who the 12 tribes of Israel are. Terazak explained to him who are Hebrew Israelites, who are the 12 tribes. Again, I don't agree with the 12 tribes chart. I know every single camp have this 12 tribe chart and they have certain nationalities attached to those 12 tribe charts and it's been also causing backlash and been giving people, mm, it's been irritating a lot of people, okay? <laughs> like I said, um, I don't believe in that 12 tribes chart. Many people don't believe in that 12 tribe chart. I know a lot of the camps do all agree, but people who are not part of camps do not agree with that 12 tribes chart. It doesn't really matter at this point. My mind would not be changed about that 12 tribe chart. It is what it is. I stand strong and firm on that 12 tribe chart. If something is not right with that chart. Anyway, so... He spoke about who the 12 tribes are and he spoke about why they go out and preach and he asked him a lot of questions about the most high, about does he hate white people and so on and so forth like that. And, you know, and Captain Taraziak, he's also um, articulate, very well-spoken man. And he's definitely, you know, educated in history, you know. And again, like I said, you can learn a lot from these camps. You can learn a lot from these men. Would I advocate for any camp? Absolutely not. I would not advocate for any camp, but I will say camps have allowed a lot of people or i would say the most high may have used a lot of these camps to bring people into the truth okay now it's up to you to discern who is really of the father who really had the ruach who really had the spirit it's up to you to discern that but these hebrew israelite camps have been doing a mighty fine job bringing people into the truth allowing people to research and study okay and really making a change as far as like at least a physical change and cutting down on eating pork and keeping the Shabbats and not buying on this on the Saturdays and so on and so forth like that keeping the feast days cutting out leaving Christmas alone leaving Thanksgiving alone leaving all the pagan holidays alone that is not of the scriptures that's not in the scriptures we have Leviticus 23 that holds the proper feast days that we're supposed to be keeping okay so we have to look into that as a people you know as, as any believing person whether you of the 12 tribe or of your gentile you know if you want to follow the hamashiach then you got to follow him according to what he says according to what his father say but i do not oppose of them protesting for Kyrie ivory but like i said we shouldn't be fooled and and we shouldn't be quick to assume that someone is a spiritual person because they quote some scriptures because they come they come into knowledge because they come into knowledge of self and they quote some scriptures that that means that oh my gosh they're woke does that mean that they're woke it does not mean that they're woke i'm hearing now that people are assuming and claiming that kanye west and kyrie irene are the two witnesses in the book of revelations no the heck they're not 
No, they're not. <laughs> no disrespect to Kylie, Irene, and Kanye West, but they are not the two witnesses in the scriptures. I already know who they are, and trust me, it is not Kanye West or Kylie Irene. One of the guys asked Bishop Nathaniel a question about a financial plan if he joins his camp and bishop said well if a man don't work he don't eat which is true get your butt up and get a j-o-b you listen to me i want you to get your ass up today go out and look for a job the word today is job j-o-b you hear me Get a job. You can't just sit around thinking that, oh, I'm going to preach the Bible, preach the word, and then just, okay, you know, I'm going to be handed to me. It don't work that way. You got to get your butt up and you got to work. Some of these guys do sit around and don't work. And then maybe have their wives, for what I'm hearing, go out and work while they just study the Bible all day. That's not how the most high want a man to be. You got to be a hard worker. You got to work. If a man don't work, he don't eat. And he's supposed to be a provider. And if you don't provide for your wife, your children, if you don't provide for your household, for your family and the people in your household, you're worse than an infidel. You're worse than an unbeliever, basically. Get your butt up with all that simping. I ain't going to take care of no woman. I ain't going to take in no woman. She won't 50-50 with me. Listen, it's your job to make sure that as a man, you provide, period. Okay? So I thought that question was kind of interesting. But I think the guy's asking that question in case if he was to join and had a job already, if he was to lose his job, does Bishop Nathaniel have a financial plan? Would Bishop Nathaniel and the other brothers members come together and help him pay his rent and his bills until he get another job i think that's where he was coming from i don't think he was asking to come in being a bum not trying to work okay but anyway people are calling bishop Daniel iuic and many other hebrews like ham groups a hate group <laughs> i have to laugh because it's like all because they're preaching the bible and they're preaching about who they really are that's all they were really doing when there's protesting out there no violence ensued nothing happened nothing aggressive happened they were just marching looking looking nice and they purple okay and yellow and they was going about their business they didn't start no fight they didn't riot nothing like that happened but they were called a hate group okay and i already stated in two videos that i made of why i unfollow hebrews but like camps they're up on my channel still so go check them out if you want to i could leave the links you know above you know in this video here some Israelite camps do take things too far what they preach about on the street corners how they talk to people their attitudes is nasty and stink they have no patience they cuss out women call them whores and b-words and so on and so forth like that it's just terrible tasteless and classless and that's not being a light onto the world if you're going to be a child of the most high you're supposed to be a light onto the world and you have to have respect onto your own people your own sisters and brothers sisters and brethren and you have to have respect even onto the gentiles too as well respect you don't have to honor you don't have to kiss but you don't have to be friends and all we're not, we're not talking about that but you have to be respectful and calling someone a devil right off the rip without even knowing who they are you know come on now because of the treacherous behaviors of some of these um hebrews but like can't men on the streets it has been a bad connotation attached to the hebrews but like term okay so a lot of people don't even want to be associated with these camps okay because of the ridiculous behavior in the ridiculous slander the, the ridiculous um preaching and doctrines that's pushed by some of these men there's proof in both videos that i posted but no i don't agree that because a hebrew is like can't preach truth and bring out truth about who the most high people are who the people of the bible are and what we should be doing to gain salvation and to be saved that's not preaching hate okay if you're behind claim to be the people of the bible and then someone else claim to be people of the bible okay well then you need to prove yourself then prove your doggone self if not sit down and shut the heck up okay sit down and shut up i see that you know these men these hebrews were like these hebrews were like camp members and leaders are getting a lot of recognition now they're definitely bringing more light to the truth not to themselves because it's not about them it's about the truth and it's about the word being spread to the entire world so everybody could know who the most high is or who his son is that is very 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 important no matter how you bring out the truth aggressive or not 
whatever type of truth you're bringing out, if the powers that if the powers that be don't like it, you you gonna be the enemy, and it's okay. But the word says to be strong and be bold like a lion, and be courageous. So don't give up, okay? Just pray fast, do what you gotta do to stay close to the Most High, and He got your back. That's all I gotta say. But yes, you know. I am not mad at Bishop Nathaniel for, you know, protesting. I'm not mad at him coming on the show Comedy Hype to express who his people are, who the 12 tribes are, and what we're supposed to be doing to get back in good grace with the Most High, which is repentance and not seeking riches in this world and not loving this world. We're not supposed to be doing that. We're supposed to survive in it. And yes, we could get our businesses and hustle and grind what we gotta do, yes. But don't get so caught up in it when you forget why we're in the conditions that we're in. We're supposed to be still looking and watching out for the Messiah to come. He gonna come like a thief in the night. He ain't coming back with hugs and kisses, honey. You read Isaiah 66, oh no. Read Isaiah 66 6 and 15. He's coming back with some fire and fury. <coughs> so be ready for that. Spiritually be ready for that, okay? It's not about just physical. When it comes down to the most high, it's spiritual too. This is very, very spiritual, okay? So we got to work on that. But anyway, what do you guys think about Bishop Nathaniel and him protesting um, with his men? And Taraziak going on these shows and, you know, um, clapping Taraziak and all of them that's not getting exposure and going on the shows and able to let other people learn the heritage of, you know, the true heritage of the true people of the scriptures. <coughs> Leave a comment down below, hit the like button, I'll be back with another one. Okay, bye.